Hey y'all, I haven't done this in uh, ages, uh, uploaded a video, and uh, one of the things I've been thinking about lately is there were some really nice comments about some of the Frank Zappa uh, videos, and uh, this is an obscure piece, it isn't going to get as many hits as uh, Taylor Swift, but I don't care, it's a beautiful piece. Uh, it's called 20 Small Cigars. And uh, I'll play a little bit of it, and we'll kind of break the parts down as we go. So it's... kind of the uh, one time through and then the, the second time through is there's variations in there but let's uh, let's talk about it a little bit it starts off on an E minor 7 and then the melody notes are just that I'm just playing a just a regular old E minor 7 in seventh position uh, so it's X seven nine seven eight Seven. I am playing it finger style and I'm hitting that high note uh, at the top. That's really the second melody note. Sometimes I'm adding a note or two in between, uh, just as if a bass was playing or something. And then the next chord we're going to go to is uh, E major 9. So there you have uh, X7987, and I'm not playing the high E string. And then we're going to play a little melody, putting a high note up there, that's A, <clears throat> second string, 10th fret. And then this is just a, this is just a, uh, uh, an F major 7 arpeggio. This I'm playing here, uh, this is the, it's really just the first three strings. This is 9, 10, 10. And I have the open D in the bass there on that. So, so far we have... I'm going to play this A note one more time before we fall into a G minor. and. This is uh, in the tenth position, tenth fret. Uh, X ten twelve twelve eleven, and we're going to do a little kind of arpeggio inside of this chord. I'll do that again slow, and hopefully you just kind of hear that. Just not anything fancy, just right in the notes of the chords. Seven just doesn't happen to have a fifth, but uh, this is X uh, seven five seven five. A couple of melody notes. And then we're just going to fall into a little A chord here. I guess technically an A7 if you looked at a chart for this, but it's fine to just do this. And what I have there, this is really just a little G chord, like D, but way up here it's a G. And we're going to put A as a bass note, so it's just this little barred uh, thing here. It's XX7787. Uh, seven, seven, seven. And I'm doing kind of just a hammer and pull the A on the 10th fret there, 2nd string, 10th fret. Three times on that, just going from that A 
to the uh, G over A. You're gonna fall back to the A chord and then uh, just ad lib a little blues thing. And that's gonna lead us to this next chord, which is a G minor nine. Uh, uh, X 10 8 10 10 and at one point you're gonna see me do this I'm just adding a C on top of that make an 11 or G minor 11 and this is the uh, F sharp major 9 so this is X uh, 9 8 10 9 chord so it's then we have this kind of little walking up uh, series of chords and there's a couple of ways to do it um, this voicing might be more awkward but it sounds good I'll give you both options here uh, it's for this part that goes like this play for that first chord in the sequence you can use uh, this F major 9 voicing so this is uh, X 8 10 9 8 uh, so we got and this is just I'm just barring across I'm not hitting the low E string but I'm barring across the seventh fret and I have my pinky up here on a so Uh, seven, sorry, F sharp minor 7. You hear them they kind of hit that uh, E up high there. So we either have this. Or you could use this voicing in place of that first major 9 chord. It almost sounds better, but it's harder to jump on. This is is uh, X. I'm not, looks like I'm playing, but I'm not really playing anything on the low E string. Um, sorry. So it's uh, X eight five five eight. Back to this. All right. So the next section, we're going to go way up to a B minor 7. Um, so this is X 14, 16, 14, 15. And I just added in uh, an E up there. That's the second on the second uh, string here. Now, this is really just a B flat major. So no, no low E string, but that's uh, uh, 13, 15, 15, 15. So back to the uh, B minor 7. Sorry. Just adding the melody notes in there. Major seven, and we can just arpeggiate that, and the notes of the melody are right in the chord. <clears throat> so this is X X, <clears throat> excuse me, fifteen, seventeen, seventeen, seventeen. Then we're gonna go all the way back down for a C minor seven, and I have the E flat on top. So this is barred across the eighth fret, tenth fret with my ring finger, and the eleventh fret with my pinky. So let me play that little sequence again.
first chord was wrong there, so. What is happening there is, uh, this is really like a D uh, seven sharp five, but I'm just kind of inverting it, taking the bass note up high, because that's also the melody note. So that's X, X, 10, 11, 11, 10. And then we're actually going to play a <clears throat> like a C13 chord, uh, but like inverted. Uh, that is nothing on the low E or A string, but it's 8, 9, 8, 8. Going up for the 12th fret. back into the different. And we're going to take this shape, the, uh, <clears throat> in this case it's a D dominant sharp 5, but it's an inversion, X, X, 10, 11, 11, 10. And we're going to go down in major thirds, so it's like, uh, we're skipping, we're going down two whole steps each time. So there I'm uh, in 10th position, 6th position. play what uh, really just looks like a, uh, sorry, I was trying to think of my words, uh, it's like an A suspended, like, and we're just going to play these three strings, it's X, X, two, two, three, I went from the second to third to fifth to seventh frets. We're gonna go to a G minor nine. requests it. Uh, well, well, I'll try to just post it in the in the video for download and uh, that will help you through because I wrote all the the voicings and uh, uh, it's there's no tab but it's it, but it will have the notation the actual uh, notes and the chord shapes above it so I uh, hope if anybody if there's anybody out there that likes that tune uh, I hope it, uh, it's something maybe some people will want to learn and and I plan on doing um, little umbrellas as a chord melody piece and a few other uh, Zappa songs. It's incredible how many if you really just take the melody and the chords and not the wrench that Frank liked to throw in things uh, he wrote a lot of beautiful melodies and beautiful chord sequences to go along with them um, uh, there's just a, a ton of tunes that, uh, again, if you take a silly 
voice out here or there or uh, some strange noises out here or there. There's there's really beautiful melody uh, yeah, behind that. So uh, thanks again to anybody who's, uh, or to the people that have been posting and uh, making nice comments uh, uh, about some of the other videos like What's New in Baltimore. Uh, I did uh, Diamond Dust by Jeff Beck at one point and uh, that got some really nice comments so I really really appreciate that I haven't taken this thing that seriously because uh, it was just a, it started out as like a fun thing I'm no uh, not trying to be a Rick Beato or something like that uh, but uh, but those comments kind of inspired me I'm like okay yeah wake up and and uh, record some more videos so I hope you like it have a great day